Who's ready to run a live phishing attack which will lead to a company-wide ransomware in production environment? I'm gonna guess very few. A user experience at test drive such as threat hunting with carbon black where you get to play the role of victim and fall for a phishing attack. I know how exciting, right? But it's all about the user experience. It's not how we say it, it's how you feel it. And then you get to enhance your security skills by hunting the threats Leveraging Carbon Black, looking at each process, script, executable, occurred at the time of the attack. All of that powered by VMware Contexa. We have a step-by-step -step guide for you to follow and enjoy this user experience at Test Drive. Important information such as attack stages are laid out in text and logical diagram form for you to go and enjoy this user experience. From the point of phishing, to command and control, to ransomware, all the stages you will experience and hunt using Carbon Black. Again, every single step is documented with screenshots to make this user experience a great experience for you. As a threat hunter, having pictorial representation of an attack helps me reduce adversaries dwell time in my environment and formulate my next steps, which ultimately helps me reduce mean time to detect and respond. Let's jump right in. Once you're logged into this test drive user experience, you can go ahead and search for Outlook and open as administrator. From here, you will import the PSD file placed at public desktop. Again, all of the instructions step-by-step step, are provided in the user guide of this test drive user experience. From here, let's take a note of our logged in Windows machine provided by test drive. So first we'll check the host name and then we'll check the IP address of this machine. Once you wrote that down, now let's go ahead and open the phishing email and the attachment from here. I am going to show you a sneak peek of what happens at the attacker side when victim falls for it. If you recall, this is the machine that I'm logged in during this recording and we can also verify by checking the command prompt. Again, you will not see the attacker side during this test drive user experience. Let's open Carbon Black using readme file information on the desktop. You'll find the username and password in that file. By the way, a ransomware attack will hit your logged in Windows machine after three to five minutes of opening that attachment and you can check that as well by coming back to the desktop. From here, the first thing you want to do is filter that device name so you can look at all the events related to your logged in test drive Windows machine. Once again, all of these steps are scripted and provided to you in that user guide. Isn't this beautiful to see all the processes laid out during this attack, what happens in a single pane of glass where you can actually go and investigate and threat hunt what happened at the time of the event.
For those who prefer all the details pertaining to the events can also find useful security event information by just scrolling down at the same page of this event. And you can expand any one of these enriched events to give you complete information about that. You've got the alert information, but if you want to dig deep and benefit the most out of Enterprise EDR from Carbon Black, let's click on that investigate button from the alert page. This is where you get the plethora of telemetry data from this endpoint, which is what you are currently logged in into this test drive Windows environment for this user experience. So from here, you can see the watch list hits and I like to remind myself the way I treat watch lists are something that giving me additional context, the threat intelligence. And again, that is all powered by VMware Contexa. Now, if you like to check what others such as Virus Total have to say about this kind of binary, you can just simply click on Virus Total from the same page and you can get additional information what others are saying about that binary. Again, all of this information you'll learn it as in the user guide, but this is really exciting. You can keep expanding the processes and keep looking at how from Outlook, it was all triggered from Word document and then we have different PowerShell triggering different child processes along with Google Chrome. So all of that, what happened exactly at the endpoint level, you can see it. A lot of times attackers use encoded commands when they run their attacks, but using Carbon Black, you can use the reveal feature and it will decode all the commands for you. It'll tell you how and where the attacker went to or what commands were run. With that, I wish you luck. Have fun at this user experience. Thank you.